He was the youngest candidate on the statewide ballot and the second highest vote getter. Northeast Ohio's own Josh Mandel now finds himself ready to take over the treasurer's office. News Channel 5's John Cossett caught up with Mandel as he returned from Columbus tonight. Yeah, donated to the 33-year-old Lynnhurst native will soon become the only statewide office holder from Cuyahoga County. Something he told me tonight he does not take lightly. Josh Mandel gets the chance to do something tonight he hasn't been able to do much of lately, relax at home. Uh, we've traveled uh, to 83 of the 88 counties, uh, put over 110,000 miles traveled around the state, and that's to match the uh, 19,679 doors I knocked on when I ran for a state representative here in the Cleveland area. His pavement pounding efforts have landed him the job as the 48th treasurer of the state of Ohio. I think it was around uh, 1130 or so last night when we uh, realized that uh, we'd actually uh, won the race. And uh, it, it was nice sharing it with my family. Uh, my wife was there and my parents, my in-laws. A decorated veteran of two tours in Iraq, Mandel spent this long campaign not only talking to voters, but listening to them. That's why he says he wasn't surprised by what we saw at the polls across the country yesterday. I think the citizens of our nation are becoming more and more independent. And unfortunately, these folks in politics are coming to care more about the D or the R next to their name than they do about doing the right thing. Part of doing the right thing for Josh will be collecting, protecting, and investing the state's money. But it will also be looking out for his home. And I think for too long, uh, Northeast Ohio has gotten the short end of the stick in Columbus. Uh, and I think it's important that we have good, strong leaders coming out of the Cleveland area fighting for us in Columbus. And that's going to be a priority of mine. And a final tally of the votes showed that Josh had more than 2 million votes in the state. That was second only to Rob Portman, the U.S. Senate winner. Josh is going to take a couple of days off and then begin the process of reviewing the office. They'll take over in January. Reporting live at the Board of Elections, John Kasich, News Channel 5.